Brett is with us in Provo, Utah. Hi, Brett. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Oh, thanks, Dave. Thanks for having me on. Sure. What's up? Uh, so me and my family, we have been renting for the last year while paying off student loans. Uh, we paid off 115000 of student loans. Way to go. And, That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we're at a point now where we're looking – uh, to save up for a down payment on a house. Um, and the house we would be looking to buy, it would take us about three years to, to get a down payment for that house. Um, but we're wondering if maybe it might just be smarter to wait another three years, so a total of six years, to pay for a house in cash. How much of a down payment are you doing in three years? 50%? Yeah, it's pretty much close to that. Yeah, houses are pretty How did you determine 50% as a down payment? Uh, just for the house we were looking at for no, like 800000 you, you said you can do 50% of right. the house price in three years. Right. Yes. 400000 uh, Three. Uh, yeah, I guess 350 is what I was looking at. Yeah. Huh? Okay. And what do you make? Uh, 260 Way to go. Good for you. How old are you guys? Uh, I'm 32 and my wife is 29. Okay. Well, this is one of the, uh, maybe the only answer that I ever give here on the air that is um, not what I would do, but what is okay Okay. to do. Okay. What I do, the way I live my life for the last 30 plus years now since I went broke is I don't borrow money. Mm -hmm. Period for anything ever. And so I have to figure out a way to cash flow it because there is nothing that I want badly enough or that I'm scared enough of to go in debt for it. I have been there, done that. I didn't like the T-shirt. I'm not doing it anymore, okay? Uh, I truly do believe that the Bible is telling the truth, that the borrower is slave to the lender, and I truly don't borrow money. And I do believe that that is the shortest path to wealth, by the way. Okay? Yes. Uh, The the starting few years is rough, Um, but the the ending years are amazing. (laughs) So uh, 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 now, having said all of that, then it's the only advice we give here on the air that I don't personally follow, and that is if you take out a mortgage— with a good strong down payment, fifty percent is more than a good strong. A good strong down payment would be ten or fifteen or something like that. Twenty would avoid PMI. That's good. And your payment right. on a fifteen-year fix is no more than a fourth of your take-home pay. If you did that in your case, you could then pay that house off within six years. Right. Right. And if you could pay yeah, cash but- for it in six years, you could pay it off in six years. And Obviously, anyone who pays their home off in six years is way weird compared to the culture. <laughs> so you're you're weird no matter where we are on this spectrum. Yeah, and you're and you're yeah, heading yeah. in the in the you, you know your your face is under the column of smart people no matter what we do on this spectrum. That's right. So either yeah. one of those is fine. So it's just a matter of so is some any- would call me a legalist, some would call me a purist. Uh, someone just call me not a hypocrite, but um, <laughs> but that that I don't borrow. So you can do either by Ramsey guidelines anywhere in between those two things, and be there. So you could put down fifty percent, you could put down eighty percent, you could put down twenty percent on a fifteen year fixed where the payments no more than a fourth of your take home pay, and it wouldn't be in this case. And then turn and pay it off as fast as you can. All of that is within our guidelines because we know that that's going to lead you to wealth. Brett, how old right. are you? I'm 32. Way 32. to go, man. Way to go. Amazing. What do you do for a living? So I'm a nurse anesthetist. Ah, good. Very good. You're killing it, man. So, yeah. And, so and that was where I was kind of having the, the question between the two, just because is, it, is there any measure on if it's harder for kids to move when they're older? That was kind of what we were going between two. I mean... I wouldn't want to wait. I wouldn't want to move in high school if that's what you're asking. I think that yeah, kids yeah, are yeah. very resilient. I think that by the time they, you know, once they put down roots, if you get into those high school years, it can be a little bit tough. But mm-hmm. I mean, you can recover from anything. But yeah, when they're how you have you've got kids now? How? So the oldest is seven. So uh-huh. seven, five, and three. 
seven. They're all so right. He would be 13, you know, if we waited the full six years to, to pay. Well, and that's also assuming you get absolutely no increases in income. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah I, yeah, true. It's a good point. Which is weird because when I start saving towards something that I want really bad, what I'll do is work my butt off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And my income goes up and, you know, I'm able to just attack it. And so right. my guess is that it won't take you as long as the math on a straight line without any increases in pay says, okay, right. that you should have because your intensity will go up and your income will probably go up both mm-hmm. during this time. So it'll probably be four or five years, but same thing's true of paying the house off. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. If you bought it and we're living in it. So, uh, we're not going to yell at you for either one. Um, okay. uh, uh, I just love the options that you're looking at. I, yeah. I, I love all, that all, you're calling in here talking about 50% down or 100% down. That's a wonderful quandary to be in. You've yeah, got and, options. You've got your head in the right place. That's for sure. Yeah. And so, again, I truly do believe these principles. And so I truly believe that if I live them, I'm going to be the safest in the event of a pandemic. I'm sitting in a building that's worth I don't know what's this thing worth now three four hundred <laughs> three or four hundred million dollars and it's, pay, and it's paid for and yep. it's paid for and so nobody I didn't have to worry during the pandemic that we couldn't make the payments here yeah okay that allows this bald head to lay on a pillow and sleep you know <laughs> it just is a different world.